Is this even possible with WinLink? Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. To the best of my knowledge, getting a radar image with WinLink has not been possible before now, but is one of the things that I have often wished I could get when I was in an area void of internet service or cellular service. While we've always been able to get a weather report in WinLink, and we can download satellite images either over a satellite or from a ground station, getting a radar image has not been possible. Well, that changes today. I want to introduce you guys to the WX Radar Service, available now through WinLink. The WX Radar Service is something that we've been testing the patrons and the newsletter guys over the last couple of weeks, and it is a way for you to send a message from WinLink over RF and have the WX radar system return a radar image of the area that you specify. Let's go ahead and jump over to the computer and take a look at some of this. Now, before I show you guys exactly how to use this service, I do want to take a look at the GitHub page, and all of the code is available here for you to review. Uh, and it's got quite a bit of information on this page. It's got a caution right up at the top that will give you an idea of how long it's going to take you to download an image over RF. That's one of the downsides of one of the reasons images aren't readily available is because it does take quite a bit of time to download those over RF. The WX radar system does compress that image as much as possible in order to make it as fast as possible to deliver it over RF. Each of the images is somewhere around 10 kilobytes in size. So over a uh, typical VARA HF connection, it's going to take roughly 8 to 10 minutes. Under poor propagation, uh, that's going to take quite a bit longer. VARA FM is a lot faster. If you've got the paid version of VARA FM, you can expect that download time to only take about 60 seconds. Let's go ahead and scroll on down a little bit. It's super easy to use, and we'll actually go through an example of this uh, here in just a second, but we're just going to send a message to WX Radar, and in the subject line, we're going to put the radar code. And here's a look at the radar codes. Now, in case you can't remember that, I'm going to show you guys how to get those codes delivered to you over RF as well. But check out the GitHub page where you can take a look through all of this information. Let's go ahead and jump over to one of my Linux machines where I've got Pat Winlink running. Now, let me make that just a little bit bigger for you guys so you can sit a little easier. First thing I'm going to do is just compose a message and we're going to send that message to WX Radar. And remember I told you you could get all of those codes delivered to your inbox? Well, I'm just going to type help in the subject line, and then we'll go ahead and send this message out. So we'll post that to the outbox, and just for the sake of time on the video, I'm going to be using Telnet connections today, but you can definitely get all of this data over RF. Let's go ahead and send that out. Now it does take the system roughly two to three minutes to get that request, and process it. So don't make a connection immediately after you've sent that. You will need to wait about two or three minutes before you make your next connection. That gives the system plenty of time to process the request and send its reply back to you. Now that those couple of minutes have elapsed, let's go ahead and make another connection and you'll see that the system responded to me with help commands. If we open up that email, you'll see that same list of radar codes that we saw just a minute ago on GitHub. Now I know that the one I am going to look for for my area is the Southern Mississippi Valley. So let's go ahead and send another message with SMV as the subject. So we'll go ahead and just compose a new message. We'll send that to, well, got to get it clicked up there. Let's send that to WX Radar. And in the subject line, let's just put SMV and go ahead and send that message. 
Again, we'll need to wait two to three minutes before we make our next connection and retrieve that radar image. And I think that should give us enough time to get that image delivered back to us. So let's go ahead and connect to the system again. And sure enough, it is downloading that attached image. Let's go ahead and open up that new message from WX Radar. And if we scroll down to the bottom, you can see the attached image. This one happens to be 11.86 KB. If we click on that, it should open that in a new web browser for us. Now, I do want to point out a couple of things that we ran into during testing. I was having about 5% of the messages that came in not getting returned a radar image. I think I got that nailed down because it was so intermittent. It was a little bit of an issue to track down, but I think I've got that narrowed down and hopefully got it fixed. However, if you run into an issue and it's not returning uh, the image to you or the help commands to you, after about five or six minutes, we know that the system has had enough time to process that request. If you would, open a ticket over on GitHub and just let me know uh, what, which radar system you requested and that it didn't return. You can also email me, my call at awrl.net. I may not reply to every single one of those, or I might reply to you and ask you a little bit more information. Either way, it will help me to make sure this system is rock solid. If you found today's information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.